Well, mainly I was attracted to it because Judd was directing it. And um, I wanted the opportunity to get to work with him. But all of his movies, I feel like, are... They're funny, obviously, but um, he touches on things that are vulnerable spots in people's lives that maybe they don't like to talk about or acknowledge or are uncomfortable watching. I feel like this movie is, it might make you feel a little comfortable when you when you sit in the theater and you watch it. What I like liked about your character is that there's a, a point of innocence. Like she doesn't know the impact that she has. Right towards the outside world she's and the guys. Well, she's, she's oblivious also to the things she's advising Debbie to do. <laughs> like th That's terrible advice. Um, and that's not going to help her marriage at all. Um, but I liked, I liked that about her because it's hard to, you know, you can't hate her because she thinks she's doing what's right for everybody. She doesn't understand. She's no, and she has a sense misguided. of friendship. And, yeah. Uh, so uh, are those qualities you appreciate? Are you at all like a uh, Desi? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. And what's funny is um, I can't believe I said some of the things that I said because now watching it back, I'm going to be super embarrassed because I really went there with some of those things. And some of those jokes are um, a little intense. Uh, uh, you started very young acting. Why did you choose this uh, type of, of career? I don't actually know. I used to always tell my mom when I was very little, like two and three, that I was th this is what I was going to do, and I'm not sure why. I was a big fan of Judy Garland, and I was obsessed with um, Wizard of Oz. And I really also liked Esther Williams. I don't know if you know who that is. She was a synchronized swimmer, and she made movies. I love yeah. Her, yeah. Um, so I just, it, there was never really another option. I just always wanted to do this. And a, There's a uh, persona created around you. Mm -hmm. How, how, close are you to that product of the media? I guess nothing. Nothing, I don't <laughs> think. It's weird because it's hard to communicate your personality through the way the media works today because everything is um, everything is sound bites. So you do an entire interview with somebody um, or you do an article that's eight pages and the three things that you said that could possibly seem outrageous or scandalous or what circulate the media, and that's how people grow to know you. So, um, you know, I, I can't, I'm not like, I guess, what the image that is portrayed in the in, tabloids. In the, in, uh, sorry, in this film, you come into a family, but it's also a real family in the, the outside world, the, mm -hmm. the Abados and the wife and the kids. Uh -huh. and was it hard to get into the family? Did you no. feel like an outsider? No, because they're so warm, and they embrace everybody, and everybody in their cast is a part of, their, their working family and the crew also, and everybody's always in a good mood and everybody's a team player. And so it was really easy to, to sort of fit in with them. And I just, I love them. They're a funny family and they're always having a good time and they're very open and so it was easy. You won't understand because you're, well, maybe you're too young to understand uh, this is 40s, like a crisis. Right. But uh, the film talks a little about that, right? It's yeah. sort of like a turning point for many people, I guess. You it is, trapped. I guess. I guess, especially if you've been married for many years previous, I guess that's a, a point when you go through a transformation, your relationship goes through a transformation. And I think especially for women, that number, for whatever reason, holds a great deal of significance. Um, because in, our, in American society specifically, um, women around that age become less valuable for some reason. And there's really no, we don't know why, but I think the anxiety starts to build when you get around that age or even older. In Europe, I feel like women are embraced a little more. In a way, actresses' lives in Hollywood are kind of shorter, you think? Yes, like professional athletes. You peak at like 25. <laughs> so I'm already on the decline. I'm 26. I'm on my oh way my out. Oh, my God, no. Um, <laughs> we want to see you more, no? <laughs> so it's, you know, it's a lot of pressure. And um, it's amazing to see somebody like Leslie, who is an actress and who is, I don't know if she's 40 yet. She might be turning 40. But she's so, first of all, beautiful, and she's in amazing shape and doesn't look her age. But she deals with it so well and is so confident and so talented. And it's nice to be around women like that. It allows me to feel a little more at ease. Um, for where I'm possibly headed in the uh, future. 